Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. So in previous episode I showed you how to upload some file to your uh, ESP32 internal file system. So that could be SPIFS or a little FS. Depends on what your microcontroller actually supports. And then we use this piece of code in order to test whether a file that we uploaded to our internal file system exists or not. And in this episode we are going to do exactly the same just with ESP8266 microcontroller. So in order to make this plugin uh, for your uh, Arduino IDE available, first uh, use your browser and navigate uh, to uh, GitHub. To this repository, Arduino ESP8266 a little FS plugin. And of course this method you can use both with Windows and Linux. And what you should do now, uh, find uh, where this uh, file is downloaded to your file system. So I found this zip in my uh, downloads uh, folder and I extracted it. Then in here you're going to find ESP8266 little fs. Uh, copy this entire uh, directory and go to home, find Arduino. And if you are on Windows, this folder might actually be in your uh, home directory or in uh, C program files. Open it, uh, find tools or uh, create one if you don't have it. Open it and paste that directory in here. So I already have that done. So I have ESP8266 a little fs in here. Open it. You are going to find tools. Open it and you should find ESP8266 little fs jar. And of course, because we are dealing with uh, jar files, we need Java installed on our system. If that part is done, now you should have your plugin in Arduino IDE. Like in this case. In tools, ESP8266 little fs data upload. And just a friendly reminder, uh, these two plugins, so ESP32 sketch data upload and ESP8266 little fs data upload, may not work if you are using Arduino IDE 2.0. And because I'm using a 1.8, uh, we should be safe in here. And now, when all of that is ready, uh, find uh, where you have uh, stored your entire project. So go to your file system and find your project. Uh, in my case, that is a PC2 ESPFS. Open it and create this data folder. In here, you are going to store all of files that you want to upload uh, to your ESP8266 microcontroller. In my case, I'm just going to upload this red square uh, named uh, image.png. So we are done with that part. Now go to tools, uh, se select your model. So ESP8266 and I'm going to use generic model. Go to tools again. Select your port and this part is important uh, flash size. And in here you have to know uh, what kind of flash you have on your system. For example, I have uh, four megabytes uh, flash and I want to use one megabyte for file system and one megabyte uh, for OTA. You could actually use any settings that suits your needs. But in my case, one megabyte for file system, it's more than enough. Now close this and I'm going to open my uh, terminal. Going to use command uh, ESP uh, tool. I'm going to erase this entire uh, chip of my microcontroller and now when my chip is uh, empty and clean go to tools and I'm going to click on ESP8266 uh, little fs data upload. All right now I have my picture on my internal file system. So basically we could use this code, but uh, now we have one problem. My uh, ESP8266 microcontroller doesn't like SPI FFS. So in this case, I am going to use little fs in here too. Also in here. But now I have to provide second argument r for a reading. In case of SPI FFS you don't have to provide this second argument but with little fs with function open we need two arguments. And now I'm just going to upload this code to my microcontroller. Okay now I'm going to open my serial monitor and I'm going to restart my microcontroller. So hopefully we are going to see content of uh, image png printed to the screen. All right, let me see. 
file printing commands, PNG and content. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya!